y'all. Good morning to Kimberly's Peace and Time. Oh, here we are again. Another beautiful morning. Um, I, I, what a great day. I don't know. I woke up this morning and I was like, let's do yoga. I love that. I love that feeling. I love that knowing um, that I'm going to do something positive for myself today. I'm going to do something good for myself today. So, uh, I hope you're there with me today and let's just try and stay in that place, that knowing, that knowing that we get to do something positive for ourselves today and we get to be grateful. I, I keep coming back to gratitude. I love that actually um, because I know that things are coming and things are changing and everything is exactly as it's supposed to be today and staying in that place of just knowing and doing and moving one step at a time, one foot at a time, uh, that whether I bring contrast to myself today, which shows me which direction I want to go, um, or what I don't want to do, which always tells me more about what I want. Um, anyway, that's kind of where I'm at today, so I just would like to, I think, um, really work today on just being and being centered and being in the moment. Um, so if we can stay there and we can imagine and we can see all that positive, then that takes us to the next place. Um, I don't know. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but it's kind of where we're at today or where I'm at today. So um, with that being said, we're just going to kind of get moving and get started and get going. Um, so let's focus today um, on, I'm going to focus on the hips, I think. I've been focusing a lot on core and stability and balance, and I think today I'm going to focus on hips and lower body and trying to move all of that. Um, I have been just making these 15, 20-minute daily videos, but I'm going to extend it a little bit um, just so we have a little more time if you would like to roll through the end of the video with me. Um, I may do that. It just, you know, I, I just never know where I'm going to be or what I'm going to do. I kind of like that, let that just unfold. And if I could let my life unfold, like I let my practice unfold, <laughs> it would be a great thing. I just can't do that sometimes. Sometimes I stop myself from doing that. But anyway, let's just let it unfold today and see what happens. Um, so just going to roll with it and, I'll, and we'll see where it goes. So, Let's do that. Everybody coming into easy seated. Easy seated is um, different for everybody. Everybody has a different place. Every day it's different for me. Um, some days I can move and some days I can't. Some days I'm stuck and some days I'm not. It's just the way it goes with everything. Everything's the same. Okay, there's my rant for the day. <laughs> Cracking myself up. Anyway, I love that. I hope you all are awake this morning. Good morning. Let's just stay seated. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in. Centering on that breath. into that breath, bring a deep breath in, arms come up, and out, another deep breath in, arms come up, and out, deep breath in, coming down forward, reaching out, stretching out, feel the core start to stretch as you pull the hip down, push the arms out, coming back up, exhale, arms come down, bringing the arms behind us, opening up the chest as we lift, chest open, shoulders start to warm up, and release the hands, arms come up, 
then he has come to heart center. Emmanuel. Oh, it's coming to child center. Toes come together, hips sink back into the heels, the forehead drops down. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Let's open up the shoulders. So we're going to just push our fingertips up. Push the wrists out, belly holds tight as you pull the hips back into the feet. And as you push the arms out, you're going to feel the shoulders and the triceps start to warm up. Exhale, palms come down, fingertips come up and pull back. Just warming up the arms and the shoulders. One more, fingertips up, wrists push out front. Exhale, palms come down, fingertips pull up and back. Feeling the shoulders warming up. Nice. Coming into all fours. I want you to take your right hand and reach it underneath the left. So the right hand pulls out underneath. As you pull back, you're going to feel the whole back of the body start to warm up. Shoulders warm up. This is just opening up the shoulders. And breathe. Good, coming back up, left hand reaches underneath the right, walking it over. As you pull the hips back, you're going to feel that front shoulder open up, opening up, breathe, and exhale. Feel that shoulder stretch out. Nice. Coming up, down dog, first down dog of the day, pedaling the feet out. Mm. Just breathe here. Nice. Everything's warming up this morning. And breathe. Coming forward into plank and just drop it down. Tricep push up, up and back into down dog. Nice. Forward into high plank, dropping down. Tricep push up, up, back, down dog. Nice. Belly holds tight as you pull your feet in. Forward fold. Stretch it all out. Forward fold and back down. Coming all the way up, reaching up nice and long through the body. Nice into chair. Good job. Just starting to move everything this morning. Just little stretches as you come back down into forward fold. Walk it out again. Down dog. Forward plank. Rolling forward on the toes, dropping down chaturanga as you roll into up dog. Feel everything stretch. Shoulders pull back as you lift up, roll back, down dog. Hop forward so you bend your knees as you pull your feet in and then forward fold. Half forward fold. Forward fold again. Coming all the way up. Reaching up, little back bend. <clears throat> nice. Forward fold coming down again. Hop it back. Forward, dropping down, up dog. Down dog. Right foot steps forward into crescent lunge. Adjustments, wardrobe adjustments. Stretching out. Feel that hip stretch out. Nice job. Hands come to heart center. Left elbow outside. Right knee twist. Open. Just 
feeling a nice deep twist here. Get everything started. Hands come back to heart center. Hands come down. Right foot steps back. Left foot steps forward. Crescent lunge this side. And breathe. Nice. Hands come to heart center. Right elbow outside. Left knee. Twist. Nice job. Coming back to center, hands come down, left foot steps back, down dog. Into warrior, your right leg is going to come up, three-legged down dog. Stretch everything out. Right foot comes forward, left foot drops back, warrior two. Nice, right hand pushes forward, flip that right hand up as you reach up and back. Stretch it all out. That whole right side body stretches out. Right hand comes forward. Left hand lifts up. Good morning. Just start to work it all out. Good job. Back into warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Push the right hand forward. Dropping the right hand to the mat. Left hand lifts up this side. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. Nice. Just stretch it out. Feel that whole inside leg stretching out. Dropping that front knee into a lunge. Coming back, warrior two. Nice job. Turn the hips as you come into warrior one. Right hip pulls back. Left hip pushes forward. Turn the back foot. Crescent lunge. Hands come down. Right foot steps back. Down dog. Breathe. Other side, left leg comes straight up, three-legged down dog this side. Stretching it all out. Left foot comes forward, dropping that right foot back down, coming into warrior two this side. Just breathe. Warrior two. Push that left hand forward. Flip that hand upside down as you reach up and back. Reaching that right hand down the back leg. Pushing that left leg forward as you reach that right arm. Back down, left arm comes up and over. Just stretch. Breathe. And now the left forearm comes down. Right arm reaches up and over. Stretching everything out. Reaching up and over. Nice job. Stretch it out. Coming back, warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Left hand pushes forward. Dropping the left hand down to the mat. Right arm lifts straight up. Trikonasana on this side. Feel it all stretch out. Nice job. Just starting to move this morning. And now bring that front knee down. Left knee comes down. Nice job. Mm. Coming back into your warrior two. Turning the hips for warrior one. Left hip pushes back, right hip pushes forward. Turning the back foot, you're back in a crescent lunge here. Nice, hands come down, left foot steps back into down dog. Nice job, pedal it out. Breathe. Nice. Right foot steps up, pulls up and back. And now you're going to take that right heel to the left glute. You pull that down. The hips now turn and open as you pull that right knee to the ceiling. And you look under your left arm at your foot. Twist here. Deep twist here. Nice job. Turning the hips, coming back around. 
right knee comes in between the hands. Pigeon. Nice. So hips are over shoulders. Nice and long, nice stretched out here. Trying not to come onto that knee, staying on the side of the leg. Opening up, chest opens up. And breathe. Now coming to your forearms here in front of you. If you would like to, you can walk it down even further. Sometimes this actually makes this pose easier. This releases some of that pressure and some of that weight off of the hip. Just trying to stretch that hip out. Breathe here. One more breath. Releasing everything out of those hips. Nice. Coming up. Hands come up. Staying in that pose. Going to bring that left leg back up. So flexing that back leg. You're going to reach around. The right hand plants in the front as the left hand comes around to grab that left leg. Pull that in. Feel that quad stretch as you open up the chest. Nice job. Stretch that quad, ow, ow, ow. Stretch that out. Good, release that foot, coming up and back, down dog, pedal it out. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go, other side. So left leg lifts straight up, strong through the arms, lifting that left leg up. Three-legged down dog here, and you're going to take that left heel to the right glute, twisting open so that knee comes up to the ceiling. Now you're going to look around to the other side. You look underneath the right arm to try and find your foot. It's a twist. Twist that whole upper body. Nice, and breathe. Good, turning that hip around. Knee comes around into the hands. Pigeon on this side. Again, shoulders are over hips. Nice and open here. Oh, just releasing, opening up. And breathe. The more we breathe into a pose, the more we can relax into a pose. We hold everything tight and we hold the breath. We just try and fight everything. When we can breathe and we can let go, we find that we fall deeper into a pose and release more. And it's just, you breathe into it. Just breathe into it. And coming down onto your forearms. Releasing some of that pressure. Try not to roll over onto that left glute. Stay up on that right hip so you feel the stretch through the left glute. You can drop your head down. Just breathe here. And out. You're going to just breathe one more breath here. Back up. Nice job. Now bring that right leg up. Flexing the foot on that right leg. Left hand plants in the front as you go ahead and reach around with your right hand and pull in. Feel that quad stretch. Pull it in. Ouch. Feeling the quad. Stretch it out. Nice job, and release. And we're going to be coming wide on our mat. So coming around to the front, coming wide on the mat. So feet are wider, then a little wider than hip distance apart. Toes point out, and you're just going to fold. Nice hip hinge here. 
toes are pointed out. Your right hand's gonna plant underneath your face here. You're gonna kick the hips over to the left side and you lift that left hand up. Stretching out those hips, stretching out the inside of the leg. Open up. Nice, left hand plants. Hips kick over to the right side, right hand lifts. Opening up. Nice job. Nice, and the right hand comes down. Hands are planted in front of you. Just walk your feet together a couple of steps. I want you to drop your knees into a squat. So you just sink down. Hands come to heart center here. As you do this, you're gonna release those hips. Just sinking down, releasing into those hips. Nice job. Back is straight, shoulders are back. Releasing into those hips. Nice job. For all my athletes out there, you guys love this. You're gonna love the next one too. You ready? Because we're moving into frog. So, hands come down. I just want you to take your knees to the mat. Feet come out. So the feet are actually parallel to the back side of the mat as you walk your knees out. You're gonna feel the hips here. Everything is just trying to release in those hips. Athletes, do this every day. Fist and pigeon every day. Hips and hamstrings, hips and hamstrings. So if you would like to, take this down to your forearms, coming down, pushing back. So push your hips back as you feel the back side of the hips start to release. I know it hurts. You can do it, just breathe. Breathe into it. Remember, feet are parallel to the back edge of the mat. As you push the hips back, feeling that stretch through the whole outside of the hip, breathe into it. You got it, just breathe. One more breath. Nice, bringing the feet together. You're just gonna come into butterfly from here. So you just roll back into butterfly. Feet pull into the chest, legs fall out wide, keeping the back straight, shoulders up and back. You're nice and straight. You're gonna pull from the chest first. If you pull from the chest here, you can keep that nice long line through the spine. Pulling here, feel the inside of the leg start to stretch out. Just breathe. Breathe, nice job, and release. Legs come out front, shake it out. Deep breath, arms come up, and forward fold here. Pull the feet back, pulling the chest into the knees. Breathe. Breathe. Nice. Coming up. Right hand's gonna come to the outside of the left foot. Pull that left foot back. Roll that shoulder open, left shoulder opens up, left arm lifts. Twist here. So right hand is outside left foot, left arm is up and open and wide. Breathe. And exhale. Other side, left hand comes to the outside right foot, twisting open, shoulder roll back, right arm lifts. Nice long twist here. Stretch it out. Just breathe. Nice, and release. Coming back into easy seated. Deep breath, arms come up, and hands come to heart center. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. That was pretty easy, nice and slow flow. And for any of you that wanna continue and join me, we're just moving into 
our ab portion we do that i do this every day so you want to join me here we go working into boat pose belly holds tight legs come up arms come down just holding boat your belly is tight here holding everything in i don't want to do it the easy way this time and now we're going to drop from high boat to low boat so again belly holds tight everything drops down just feeling that lower core and upper core everything's working here just breathe breathe if you hold your breath it makes it harder again everything if you breathe into it if you just breathe through it it gets easier holding everything tight you got it couple more breaths here nice coming all the way up knees hugging the chest nice job working into oblique so coming back into your boat arms come up you're gonna roll open that right arm right shoulder twist coming back left side opens and twists that's one we're gonna do five so you just hold your belly tight here as you open up and twist everything's starting to work here feeling the whole core of the body start to warm up before we move into our handstand the headstands and um, crow just working here come on you're almost there just two more I think that might be more than five but it's all right you can do it one more here we go right hand opens up comes back left hand opens up coming back nice job knees coming to chest good coming around working into our handstand here so everything starts to straighten out forearms come to the mat into a forearm walking it out into a forearm down dog so as you walk your feet together, sorry, wardrobe adjustment again. Here we go, forearms down, head comes to the mat. Lifting the hips up, going to walk your feet in. Just keep walking your feet in, belly holds tight, and you're just going to lift. Ugh. Wow, that was difficult. <laughs> Bundy. Sometimes it doesn't look great, guys. And you know what? That's just like everything. Sometimes it does not look great. Sometimes we don't do it with grace. We just have to fight to get there. Doesn't matter what we're talking about. The more you do it, the more graceful it gets because you get to know it. It becomes easier. In the beginning, it may not look so great, may not feel great. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Just keep coming back to it. Keep trying it. Keep trying to come up. Keep trying to lift. It's all about the core, being stable through the core. Belly's holding tight. lifting pushing the feet up feeling the whole body lengthen nice and you can just move as you get more comfortable just start to stretch things out just feeling that core work feeling the upper body strong stable moving as we go breathing into it nice job just kind of move around here just feeling wherever your body wants to stretch and go just let it be nice now 
here. This is the hard part. We're going to move into crow from here. So, again, this may not look great, may not look graceful. It's all right. We'll get there. Left hand plant. Right hand plant. Now we're in position to come into crow. All the weight here transfers. Transfers from our head into the palm of our hand. As we bring our knees down, knees come down into the chest. We're going to roll down. Here's where the weight transfer comes. Weight goes into the palm of the hand, feeling that pressure push there as you lift the upper body. So the core holds tight as you lift here. Holding everything tight. Nice job. And dropping down. I haven't done this in a while, so let's do some side crow. It's kind of fun, kind of interesting. So opening up the hips again. So hands plant to the side of the mat. Coming up. So nice and tucked in tight here. The elbows come to the inside of the legs. Here's the hard part. Right elbow tucks in real tight to the right side of the hip. That's where you stretch. Your stretch is getting right in there into the hip. Hands come down and plant. You are going to roll. So again, just like crow, your arms become a shelf. You're going to roll up onto those arms. Holding here, left leg kicks out. Ugh. It's kind of hard. Now we're going to the other side. Left hands plant here. Tucking your knee and your back hip into those arms. Rolling onto the sides of the arms. Balance here as you kick that top leg out. Nice job. Holding here, stretching out that hip, nice. Hands come back. Just want to drop to the knees. And that's it. We have to go to work. So, deep breath in. Hands come to heart center. Being grateful for where we're at. If you'd like to take a couple of minutes, take a couple of minutes Shavasana. Just laying back. Just breathing, <sighs> seeing your day. Thank you. Have a great, peaceful day. Thanks.